Hello everyone, my name is DubDevil, aka Q, and welcome to a new episode of Doki Doki Literature Club. Uh, and this is where we stopped. Apparently, Natsuki was about to say something, but last time we hit, I think, 30 minutes on the episode. So, we're getting shorter and shorter as this time goes by. Because I don't really want to make it really long or really short, so I try to stick to 20 or 30 at the most. So, let's begin. Hold on. Is... is it just me? Or did you say something strange just now? Eh? Something... Something did sound a bit unusual. That's right. What? You... Wait, hold on. <clears throat> you debated from your usual catchphrase when addressing the club. C catchphrase I don't have a catchphrase. Jeez. Why is the mood so weird today? Look, even Yuri isn't immune to it. Ugh. S um. Stagnating air is common foreshadowing that something terrible is about to happen. What? 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 <laughs> I don't... In your books, maybe. Don't say that out here. Fuck that. Keep it in your books. Look, the only thing different is that Sayori isn't here. Ah. Uh, it seems you're right. <sighs> Sayori always helps lighten up the mood a little bit, doesn't she? It's almost like everyone's balance is throwing off a little when she's not around. Well, I, I guess you could say that. Where the heck, where the heck did she run off to anyway? I thought she was, I, I thought she just went to pee. Natsuki, please sew some decency oh come on uh she actually wasn't feeling too well so she went home early is that so i hope she's all right seriously yeah well yeah well, she didn't really discuss too much of it she just said yo i want to go home early i don't feel like you know too well and then we said bye and that was it the extent of the conversation. Of all the times to not go home with her, you pick the time she's not feeling well? So much for you two being all lovey-dovey. Uh, no! First of all, stop misunderstanding my friendship with Sayori. And second, she kind of been, she's kind of been avoiding me today, so I didn't want to force it. Ooh. That curious expression coming from Yuri, of all people. Calm down, guys. I talked to her earlier, and everything is fine. What did she say? Anyway, we need to figure out the rest of the festival preparation, so... Okay, thank you for sandbagging my fucking question, Monica. Fuck. God damn it. Ah, God, man. I don't know anymore, man. <laughs> fucking sandbagging my question. I guess my question ain't that fucking important to you. Um, let's decide what everyone will be doing this weekend. Oh, boy. Just woke up. Oh, and it's 930. And it's 932. Lovely. Uh... I don't care for the updates, motherfucker. All right. I already know what I'm doing. That's right. 
Natsuki will be making cupcakes, but we might need a lot of them in different flavors. Can you handle that all by yourself, Natsuki? Challenge accepted. And as for your, myself, I'm going to be printing and assembling all the poetry pamphlets. Sayori will be helping me design them. And as for Yuri, dot dot dot, Yuri, you can, uh, um, dot dot dot, guys, can you help me come up with something for Yuri? Oi, I'm useless. No, 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 no. It's, it's just that we don't know what you're gonna do. <laughs> like, oh boy, that's not it at all. You're the most talented person here, you know? And I think the most oldest. She's the most oldest out of all of them, right? God, no wonder she's my second pick. I don't say that in the bad way. I say that in a good way. Because if it wasn't for Natsuki being here, I think Yuri would be my definite pick for this whole group. Um, not now, Natsuki's pouting too. Jeez, even I can tell now. I guess I never gave Sayori enough credit, but I can tell things are even harder on you when she's not around. Uh, that may be the case. But if I can't also be a leader on my own, then I won't grow as a person. So, Yuri, I mean, you got a good point. You have beautiful handwriting, you know? So, you should make some banners and decorations to help set the atmosphere. Atmosphere. Um, about that. I... I love atmosphere. Yes. Um, holy crap. <laughs> Yuri's expression suddenly changes as the stare at her de as she stares at her desk in focus and starts nodding to herself. Jesus. Your mind is already racing, I see. That's great. You'll be a wonderful help, Yuri. Anyway, I mean, but anyway, just let, that just leaves you, Dub Devil, the one who is truly useless. Uh-huh, don't say that. In fact, both Natsuki and Yuri have some pretty heavy tasks to handle. It would probably go a long way to have them, one of them hand, oh, oh, shit. You could always help me out as well. I wouldn't really... I would be really appreciative of that. Uh... That's... Is Monica suggesting I spend the weekend with one of my club members? How on earth are they going to respond to a suggestion like that? Uh... Uh... I suppose I wouldn't mind a bit of help. Well, even if you don't know how to bake, there's always some dirty work I could give to you. It's not like Monica's going to give me a choice and you shouldn't be sitting on your butt anyway. Natsuki tries to mumble a bunch of excuses like that. Um, if I recall, Natsuki... You mentioned that you would like to handle baking on your own. Dub Devil may not like to be around if you only make them about to be a nuisance. So therefore, he may be more suited to sitting with decorations. Hold on, I never said that. How hard could it be to make a few decorations anyway? Sounds more like you're just making excuses for Dub Devil to... Well, what are you saying? 
it will be extremely meticulous work. I mean, yeah. Yeah, so you're really choosing the two sides of me, aren't you, game? You really are doing this right now. And baking isn't? Just what do you think? Guys, guys! Let's settle down for a moment. In the end, I think it's up to Dub Devil to decide how he'd like to contribute. Besides, he hasn't really gotten the chance to spend any time with me yet, you know? Oh shit. That's totally right. We haven't talked at all, like, separately, except from the poems. Shit, well, I don't know. So I'm sure he's interested in... You literally just said... I'm, su I I'm surprised as well. Sorry, sorry. I was just saying, though... Jeez. Can we just settle this already? Yeah. Dub Devil, you're okay with this, right? In the end, it's up to you. Ah. Of course, up to me, again. Hmm. Very well. In that case, everyone looks at straight at me. Yo, I can feel the... Oh. 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 No, no. No, ignore this name. Ignore this name for what has come to this. Get the fuck out of here. Don't guilt trip me with a fucking name. All right? I'm I'm done. I'm done with that. All right? Natsuki, I'm aiming for you. Holy fuck, but Yuri's right there. And Monica, Monica, you're you're like a friend. Uh so I would have Oh, fuck, man. This is harder than I thought. <laughs> they got rid of Siori just to push in Monica. The fuck? Um. Holy crap. Uh, I. Ooh. 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 Come on now. You don't gotta. Okay, let's save. Let's save. Um. Because who knows? I might come back and, uh. I might actually do another playthrough of this, just, you know, separately. Of like a com compilation type thing. Um, Natsuki, you know, I got with you this far. Let's go. Well, baking sounds like it could be fun. And you guys made it sound like a lot of work. So it could probably use two people. Don't worry. Baking is ton of fun. You'll definitely agree. Eh? Just a minute ago, you were saying that... that that's because... <sighs> Never mind, okay? Well, anyway... You'll be fine by yourself, right, Yuri? Of course. I'm used to it, after all. I don't like the sound of that. <laughs> Fucking Yuri, stop. Stop, Yuri. I... I, look, I would have chosen you, okay? But Natsuki's here, right? Now, actually, I, it's hard to choose the two sides of me, all right? You don't have to fucking do this. Yeah, yeah, dot, dot, dot's right. It's getting awkward, right? It's you feeling real awkward. What about Monica? You can go with Yuri, right? You can help Yuri. That's good. Even though Yuri's a bit... Melodramatic, it's a little hard to not feel bad. Yeah. Yeah, no shit, right? Choosing in a visual novel. I like how they give you these hard choices. I fucking love it. It makes me feel guilty, and I hate it. But good job. Good job, whoever made this visual novel. Fuck. So that's everything, right? Wait. So that's everything, right? There we go. Anything else we need to talk to you talk to about? No, I think that's it. Are you guys excited? Yes! Everything except the performance is gonna be awesome! I don't think that really counts. What about you, Dub Devil? Me? Ah, I guess you could say I'm interested to see how it'll turn out. 
That's good. That's good enough for me. What about you, Yuri? Yuri... She's still sulking. Dot dot dot. Dot dot dot. Natsuki starts pouting too. It's not... I mean... It's not the that big of a deal or anything. Well, it might not be just that. Dot dot dot. I think that Yuri just might be feeling a little unappreciated in general. Having to come up with something for her to do and then nobody offering to help. That doesn't mean... <sighs> Ah! Natsuki glances back and forth between everyone with a worried expression. Look! Natsuki goes over and puts a hand on, down on Yuri's shoulders. Yuri... You really... You really are the most talented one here. And... And you're going to help me. And you're going to help make the event a lot more fun and, wel and welcoming. I mean, the cupcakes will probably help a lot too, but you're going to make the atmosphere special. That'll be really important for the way that people f feel during the performance. So, you need to stop being dumb and give yourself a little bit more credit. Natsuki realizes her hands are turns around her face. Um, turned around her face the other direction dot 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 you didn't really mean that you didn't really mean that did you um n not really but yuri isn't the one only one surprised monica and i are also taken back by natsuki's words Natsuki of all people, to be saying such encouraging things. But I began to understand. Natsuki was trying to sound like Sayori. Even if I, it didn't work perfectly, I can tell that she tried to say something Sayori, Sayori would say at a time like this. Because Sayori always helps everyone smile and feel good about themselves. I'm sorry for being dumb. I'm going to do my best, and all of us are going to make it really, a really great event. Yeah. Yeah. I hope everyone's, I hope to see everyone do their best. But with that, there is nothing more for today. So I guess it's time for us to head out. Okay, but I'm staying here a bit longer. I barely got to do any reading today, so... Fair enough. There's nothing wrong with that. Everyone packs up their things. I start to follow Monica and Yuri out the door as they chat between each other. Um, where are you going? Eh? We still need to figure out our plans for this weekend. Right. You literally would have gotten home and realized that you re you literally would have gotten home and realized that you didn't even have a, a way to contact me. All right. Do we even have a fucking phone? <laughs> oh, that's true. I have no idea how that slipped my mind. Jeez, good thing I stopped you. I'm giving you my number, okay? Okay, I guess we do have a phone. You better not make it weird or anything. Why would I do that? Hmm. <laughs> Natsuki gives her me her number. Okay. I'm coming over su on Sunday. I'll bring all the ingredients. Wait. You're coming to my house? Well, yeah. What's wrong with that? I mean... 
I just figured that since I'm one helping, helping, I would be going to your house. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. Like I could have a guy over my house. My dad would kill me. Really? That's kind of strict if you asked me. Yeah, how do you think I feel? I can't do anything when my dad is home. So wait, so you're coming over my house and he would allow you to do that unless you're sneaking out of the house. Anyway, I just needed to complain for a second. We have each other's numbers now. That's all I needed from you. I guess I'll text you when I'm coming over. All right, fine by me. Yeah. I'm really going to show you why I love baking so much. So you better look forward to it. Oh? Didn't you say you were just going to give me the dirty work? W well... I was just trying... I was just saying that. It's not like I could act like in front of everyone. That I was looking forward to this. Wait, really? Well, kind of. Just because I never got to bake with someone else before. That's all. It's... It is. Um, that's all it is. So... Alright, I get it. Sorry for overreacting. Anyway, I'll be heading out now. See you on Sunday. Huh? Oh, wait. What, sh what else she want? Dot, dot, dot. Never mind. No, something's on your mind. Please, please, please. Can I ask something's on your mind? No, fuck! God damn it, character. You suck. All right. I can't believe this. Natsuki is going to be coming over my house on Sunday. May anxiety, my anxiety shoots through the roof. Even though I've gotten pretty used to handling at her at this point, there's no telling what will end up happening where outside of the school. More than that, she told me that she was looking forward to it. Is this the chance I have to make something happen between us? Or is it too early for that? Only time will tell. Man, I don't know. This visual novel is already making me feel bad, so I already feel like it's already at the climax at some point. But until then, I won't be able to take off my mind off of it. I seriously can't wait. All right, all right. It's already Sunday. I've been waiting. I've been getting increasingly anxious about Natsuki's upcoming visit. I keep telling myself there's no reason to be nervous, but it doesn't help much. I wonder if she'll act any different when it's just the two of us. Meanwhile, she's been texting me a lot. We sent each other one after exchanging numbers to double check, but it turned into a conversation. She's almost a different personality on the phone, using tons of emoji and cute languages. Uh, she, al she also really likes complaining about things, but I kind of saw that coming. But putting Natsuki aside, I haven't heard anything from Surya since I left the club early the other day. It's not like we text each other all the time or anything. But I've seen, but I've been worried about her in the back of my mind. Between what Siri said and what Monica said, is it really okay for me to put Siri's feelings aside when she might need me? Hmm. I decided to visit Siri um, before Natsuki comes over. <sighs> Rather than asking, I simply tell her I'm coming over much like we've done in the past. Once I reach Sayori's house, I knock on the door before entering it myself. Again, we used to play so often that we've made it a habit of simply entering each other's house like we were family. Man, this is actually this this is actually the first time you get to see another person's house instead of your own, you know? 
seems more uh, relaxing that way. The house is quiet. Zuri isn't anywhere on the first floor, so I assume she's up in her room. It's already strange of her not to run down and greet me. I head up to a bedroom and I, where I finally found her. Find her. Sayori? Hi, Dub Devil. I sit down in her room. Sayori forces a smile, but it's easy to tell that she's different. There's a minute of silence between us. You haven't come over like this in a long time, have you? Ah, I guess you're right. It has been a long time. Not much has really changed, has it? Sorry, Sorry's room is messy. Is a messy. Is as messy as it always been. I also recognize the same stuffed animals on the wall. Decorations that she had for years now. <laughs> if you came over. If you came over more often, it wouldn't be such a mess. That's because I end up cleaning it for you. How come you suddenly wanted to come over today? Aren't you supposed to see Natsuki today? Yeah, but... Wait, how did you know that? Siri had already left by the time they decided the last meeting. Monica told me. It's only natural for her to keep me informed about the festival preparations, right? Oh, well, yeah, you are the vice... the vice president? Yeah, the vice president. Ah, that's true. But what about you? Aren't you going to help Monica today? Of course. But I'm just helping her online. We didn't plan to meet up or anything. Ah, so it's just me and Natsuki then. Yep. There's more silence between us. Zuri stares in a random direction. Everything about her behavior is really uncharacteristic. I finally get to the point. I just wanted to see how you were doing. After you left on Friday, when something's wrong, you can't hide it from me. I know you too well. So? Siri smiles, shaking her head. That's no good, Dub Devil. Eh? Why can't it just be like it's always been? This is all my fault. If I didn't get to so weak and accidentally express my feelings, if I didn't make the stupid mistake, then you wouldn't have been worried about me at all. You wouldn't have come here. You wouldn't have been thinking about me right now. But this is just my punishment, isn't it? I'm getting punished for being so selfish. I think that's why the world decided to have you come over today. It just wants to torture me. <laughs> I think no, Sayori, that's not a that's not a good thing to chuckle about. That's that's kinda bad. I grab Sayori by the shoulders. What on earth are you saying? Are you listening to yourself right now? I know something happened to you. There's no other explanation for you to be like this. So tell me already. Until I know, I won't be able to stop thinking about it. Eh. <laughs> Suri gives me an empty smile. You really put me in a trap, Dub Devil. But you're wrong. Nothing happened to me. I've always been like this. You're just seeing it for the first time. Seeing what? What are you talking about, Sayori? Hee <laughs> hee. You're really just going to make it me say it, aren't you, Dub Devil? I guess I have no choice this time. 
The thing is, I have really bad depression my whole life. Oh, well fuck me then, Jesus. Did you know that? Why do, do you think I'm late to school every day? Because most days I can't even find a reason to get out of bed. What reason is there to do anything when I fully know how worthless I am? No! no Sayori, no. Fuck, don't say that. Why go to school? Why eat? Why make friends? Why make other people put their energy and caring to waste by having them spend it on me? Oh shit, that actually makes sense because they're fucking... The last poem I tried to break down, it was actually like... It felt, yeah, like like I said, she was giving more happiness than she was getting happiness. But now it's just probably... It's not that... Well, probably it is that, but it's also depression and it also sounds like depression. Fuck me. That's... That's what it feels like. And that's why I just want to make everyone happy. Yeah. Without anyone worrying about me. Yeah, that's a... Whew, that's a hard ellipses right there, man. You... Whew, whew. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, oh man. Who? But, um... Hmm. Man, that's... That's pretty hard, dude. I'm in shock. I can't even figure out how to respond. How is it possible that Sayori kept this from me the entire time that I knew her? Or I known her? Did she really want... Did she really want so badly for me to just not think about her? Why? Sayori? Eh? Why is it that you are never... You've never told me about this. It almost feels like I've betrayed as... I've been, I've been betrayed as your friend, as your close friend. Because if I knew, I would have done everything I could to support you. Even if there's only so much that I could do. I would have tried a little bit harder to make every day a little bit better for you. Yeah, I mean, that's how I feel. That's why I'm your friend. All you had to do was tell me. You don't understand at all, Dub Devil. Why do you think I didn't tell you? Because if I told you, then you would have wasted effort caring about me instead of doing important things. I don't want to be cared about. It's a bittersweet when people try to take care of me. It feels nice sometimes, but it also feels like a bat being swung against my head. <laughs> That's why I want it so badly for you to make friends with everyone else. Helping everyone be happy together is the best thing for me. But then I discovered something else too. Seeing you make friends and get even closer with everyone in the club. It feels like a, sp a spear going through my heart. So that's why, that's why I decided the world just wants to torture me. This music isn't helping. <sighs> Fuck, dude. Every path leads to nothing but hurt. <laughs> you're, you're right that I don't understand. I don't understand your feelings at all, Sayori. But I don't need to understand. Whatever it makes for me to help you stop hurting, that's all, that's what I'll do. No, Deb Devil. There's nothing. Nothing at all. The only thing that could have helped is if everything could be like it always was. But I was selfish. I finally showed you what a horrible person I am. Tears streak down her face. Oh, don't fucking do this to me. Don't fucking- No! Don't fucking do this to me! I made you join the literature club because I was selfish. And I was punished by my heart hurting. 
in a way that I wouldn't understand. And now you came here and I made you hurt too. I'm just weak and selfish. That's all I am. And that's why I'm going to accept this punishment. Because I deserve every last one. Without thinking. I once again grab your sayori shoulders. This time I pull her into a tight brace. Yes, we must hug it out. We have to hug it out. You know? Uh-uh. Dev Devil. Sayori. I don't care if you feel selfish. I'm really happy that you convinced me to join the club. Seeing you every day makes it worthwhile enough. If I make friends with everyone else, then that's just a bonus. But please, never underestimate how much I care about you. I wouldn't have it any other way. Step devil. Suri isn't hugging me back. Despite my arms being wrapped around her, Suri's arms remain at her sides. She starts sobbing next to my ear. No. Don't do this to me. Please don't do this. Duck Devil. I... Sari barely manages to speak between her sobs. I don't know if I'm doing the right thing. But all I want is for her to, um, to now that I care. <sighs> if you have it in you to call yourself shellfish, then you have to be self. You have to let me be selfish too. No matter what it takes, I'll figure out what needs to change. I'll make these feelings go away. And if there is anything that you need me to do, then you'd better tell me. I'll get mad if you don't. Siri. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Gently, Siri finally puts arms around me in return. I don't know anything. It's all really scary. I don't understand my feelings, Dev Devil. The only time I'm not feeling nothing is when I'm feeling pain. But your hugs are so warm. And that's really scary too. Suri lets me go. As she does, I let her go as well. The festival is tomorrow. Yeah. It's going to be fun, right? Yeah. How would you like for me to spend it all with you? Uh, um. Uh. It's what I want. I pr mm, I promise. I... I think that would be nice, then. Yeah. Suri wipes her eyes. If I could spend the whole day with her- day here, I would. Of all days, this has to be the one where I have other plans. Maybe I should cancel. No! Don't! Please don't. If you did that, then I really wouldn't forgive you. But... It's almost time for Natsuki to meet me at my house. At the very least, do you want to come along and help out? It would be fun. To my surprise, Ari shakes her head. I'm sorry. I don't know if that would be very good for me today. You understand, right? Uh... It's kind of hard for me to fully understand. But I'm trying my hardest. It's okay. Fuck. Don't worry too much about it. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Alright. I'll look forward to it. Oh boy. I 
say goodbye to Siori and exit her house. On the way home, I find myself feeling uneasy. But it's hard for me to keep thinking about it when Atsuki is about to come is about to come over too. I think Sayori is right. I shouldn't be worrying about uh, worrying too much, and we're definitely going to have a great time tomorrow. I should just focus on what's ahead of me. I spent a few minutes back home, anxiously awaiting Natsuki's arrival. Oh, so the houses just look the same. Oh, okay. Um, before I knew it, it she texted me um, to let me know she's outside of the front door. Without delay, I opened the front door to let her in. Oh my god, you look fucking adorable. Alright, let's stop here. Um, Alright, so that's about it. Uh, not for today, but just for now. I will be recording another video after this. So, yeah. Um, well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I did, as depressing as it was. Um... Really making me feel bad about Sayori um, and Yuri. Uh, poof. I really can't describe what the fuck is happening. But it seems like the festival is going to be the final day of this game, actually. I mean, it wouldn't go up more than that, right? I think. Uh, since we spent a lot of time talking in dialogues, uh, this would be exactly an hour if we, you know, kept it up. But, uh, yeah, that's it for now, guys. Um, I'm actually really getting really interested in this. So that's why I'm recording a whole bunch of videos on it. So, um, after when, uh, when this is done, uh, I don't know if you guys want me to continue, um, with the other girls and to, like, find, you know, other endings or whatever, have you, like, secrets or whatever. But, uh... I'll try if you guys want me to do that, but if not, we are gonna go back to, um, uh, uh, let's, what is it called? Fuck. I give it a bit, 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 bit. Mal Malice Code, Malice Code. We're gonna go back to Malice Code, since I was originally also interested in that and wanted to keep going with that until my computer broke, and it's still broken, but I can still record. Uh, so... That's it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. My name is Dub Double, and I.